Hello, this is Wes at Bad Seed Games, and today we're going to be going over the Get Child Count action in the Game Object subsection of Playmaker's Action List. Now, I have a Game Object set up with a selection of various cubes as children, as well as one of these children has children of its own, so that I can show you some of the limitations of this particular action. Now, let's go ahead and add that in, and let's give it a variable. Now, it's going to handle an integer variable, so let's add that in. and let's make an inspector viewable. Alright, so as you can see with the two fields here, the has the uh, game object. Now you can choose to um, use a specific object that you can either define by manually dragging it in or with a game object variable, but for the purposes of this tutorial we're going to use the get owner. Alright, so in the inspector as you can see right here, it's counting up four. Now, that basically means that it will count the children, but it will not count the grandchildren in this action, uh, in that list. Now, one of these situations where you could use this is if, for example, you have a whole bunch of objects that are spawned within a certain area, and they're all parented up to one object, if you wanted to manage it such as it only allows 10, and you can use this for, say, waypoint navigation systems, or maybe spawning gibbets or jibs or however it is that you want to say it. The little body parts that fly around whenever you blow up an enemy in uh, an M for Mature rated game. You could use it in this type of situation. So I hope I'd answered a couple questions you may have had about this uh, action and if you like this video feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a good one.